Hello, my name is Father Jack Costello. I'm the rector of Epiphany Cathedral. Thank you so much for viewing our webpage and becoming more familiar with our faith community as we do our best to be the heart and hands of Christ in the world today. In this section of the webpage, I give a short reflection on the previous Sunday's gospel and any of the readings, the other two readings that happen on that day. And looking back at last weekend, the first reading and the gospel both made references to animals such as lions, lambs, bears, cows, cobras, wolves, camels, locusts, and vipers. I wonder if John the Baptist was simply recalling some of the animals of Isaiah's chapter 11, or maybe just doing what some folks do when they are frustrated with their opponents, that is, calling them names. We've all heard these and sometimes use them. He's as stubborn as a mule. She's as grouchy as a bear. He's as dumb as an ox. She's as flighty as a bird. That one eats like a horse or drinks like a fish, etc. In today's world, many people tend to dismiss or demonize those who may be different from us by reducing them to something less than human, thus distancing them from God's image and likeness. Yet Isaiah rightly be, reminds us that when the Messiah comes, he will not judge people by their outward actions or appearances, but will look only into their hearts. <clears throat> the focus of John the Baptist's mission was to call people to conversion and repentance, that is, to call us to walk in the path of Jesus Christ. Part of the message of today's Advent liturgy asks us to stop and see if we are still judging and dismissing others only by their appearance or surface impressions, especially members of our own family or our neighborhood. It also invites us to ask, what are some of those animal characteristics or tendencies that are still in my own soul and personality that sh shows up when I'm at home or driving or shopping? Do we sometimes bark or snip at people? Are we pig-headed about changing our minds or our hearts over some ancient family disagreement or grudge? Alexander Pope once wrote, What does it profit us if Jesus reborn in thousands of cribs all over the world, but is not reborn in our own heart? The message of John the Baptist reminds us of the larger mission that is still with us today, especially in Advent, to prepare the way for Christ in our hearts and homes, to turn the wolf, the bear, and the lion inside us over to the gentle control of the Holy Spirit, to let the Messiah rule over all aspects of who we are and what we do each day. Whenever you and I honestly try to do this, when we sincerely work at removing walls and obstacles in our friendships, in our families, and in all our day-to-day -day concerns, then we will be responding to the call of John the Baptist to turn back to Christ, who is always welcoming us back to himself. One very good way to put this into practice is to make use of the Church's Sacrament of Reconciliation. In confession, we can meet the healing and forgiving Jesus Christ, who helps us empty our hearts of our sins and any other spiritual clutter. So please join us on Thursday, the 19th of this month at 5 p.m. for this moment of grace and mercy as we keep our eyes fixed on Jesus during this Advent season. God bless. Have a great week.